Okay, we got a gallon bag of June apples in the pan. And these June apples is a real tart apple, and you see how soft they are. Um, they just mush up really good. They're good for making applesauce. So we're going to put them on uh, about a three, kind of a low heat. Get them cooking down. And uh, pretty well what you're wanting to look for is uh, you're wanting to pretty well make applesauce. They'll be a little chunky still. So we're just going to let these cook for a few hours and uh, let them cook down good. We'll put some sugar in them later and some cinnamon and we'll go from there. See here, these apples are just getting nice and soft. We're just going to let them keep on cooking a little while. They've been on there about 30 minutes. All right, they've been cooking for about an hour now. And you can see it's looking just like applesauce. And there's some little chunks in there. So I'm going to go ahead and get all the rest of my stuff out. And we'll get this sweetened up. Let it keep on cooking real low. And then uh, we'll be ready to make some pie. I was going to tell you another trick you can do. Um, you can take applesauce. And this is just basic applesauce I got at Walmart. And you can make these pies out of applesauce just the same. You just got to uh, sweeten it and spice it till you like them. And also, what I've done before, and I probably do to this, is uh, I only had one gallon bag of apples, and I want to make six or eight pies. So I will probably take and uh, add some applesauce to my homegrown apples. That way I have enough to uh, do the pies that I want, and it'll still uh, be mostly homegrown apples and still taste really good. All right, now we're gonna add some sugar. I'm gonna add a cup of sugar to this. And then, this is just uh, cinnamon. I'm gonna sprinkle a little cinnamon in it. I don't know how much that is, but you just cinnamon it however much you like it. So, now we're gonna stir this in. I did add some applesauce into this, so it would go farther. I want to have uh, at least six pies, maybe eight. Um, we're having a homecoming dinner at church, so you got to have plenty of apple pie when you got a good church dinner. So we're going to work that in there. And then uh, to tell if we got it the way we want it, get you a nice clean spoon. Give it a taste. I want just a little more cinnamon. I don't put too much cinnamon. And then you just add whatever you want. You want a little nutmeg, put it in there. You need more sugar, put it in there. If you want to use Splenda, use it. You do you. And uh, I'm just going to let this come back up and simmer for a while and I'm gonna get my dough ready and you see uh the apple my homegrown apples they all turn to applesauce and there's still some nice little chunks in there and that's what makes it good you can also if you want it a little thicker some people like it thicker some people don't care you can add some cornstarch to this and it'll thicken it up and then when you put it in your pie it's a little thicker than the just a uh, applesauce will be Alrighty, we're going to get ready to make our dough here. And uh, I'm going to be using these old style pie pans like I uh, showed you in some other videos. And if you remember, I started out with just two of these my great grandma had. And then all of these, I've been blessed with subscribers sending me these. Uh, I've had uh, three or four, maybe five people send me pans. And uh, they've got some really nice ones here. And uh, some of these you can tell is pretty old. And they do a really good job. I've baked in all of them, but one. Uh, this is the latest one I got uh, not long ago. It'll be its first round. But it makes it really easy now. I can bake six. I can fit six pies in my oven. So we can bake them uh, at least six at one time right now. All right, first thing we're going to do, we're going to get some of this shortening. I like the Crisco brand. You could use lard for this too, I'm sure. We're going to put some in this cooker here. And I need at least for uh, six pies, I think I need about a cup. So 
cup and a half the time I grease my pants. So we're gonna put uh, plenty in here. Now we're just gonna set this on the stove on really, really low heat, just warm enough to melt it. All right, now we're gonna get our dough uh, started. While our shortening's melting, I've got my oven preheating on 425 degrees. I only use Hudson cream, self rising flour. To me, that's the only flour they make. I don't know if you can find it where you live, but if you can, you better try it. All right, well, I'm gonna be making several pies. We're gonna put four cups of flour in this bowl. spoon or my dipper here and I just rub me a little nest in the middle to pour my ingredients in it. Now we're going to go ahead and uh, it'll take a one cup of milk. So I'm going to go ahead and pour my milk. Then uh, we need a cup of water. So I'm going to give us a cup of water and then when the shortening's uh, melted we will get this together. All right, we're gonna get this dough made now. We're gonna add a cup of water, a cup of milk, and a cup of uh, melted shortening. And they, it ain't super hot, just enough to melt it. Now we're gonna mix this up. It'll look like it's going to be kind of dry, but once you get it worked up, it'll be it'll be just dry. If you wish to get it a little dry, just put your little splash of milk in it. See how that looks? That's just the way I like it, right there. So now we're gonna set this dough aside. Now we gotta get our pans ready. And uh, what I do, I take my pans, I put a little bit of that shortening in them pans. And then uh, you just take them and rub it around. I like to cover the bottom, cover the sides. You could probably do this with shortening that wasn't melted. Just rub it around, however you want to do it. You don't have to go crazy with it, just cover them good. We're going to grease them all up. If you get a little too much, just uh, pour them out on another one.
one more pan and uh, I'm just gonna do six for now and see how much I got and if I have more I'll do that pan and I think I got a, another round one I can use so. but once these get done baking you just flop the pies out of these pans and uh, you're ready to use them again so I'm gonna go get the grease off my fingers and we'll get our dough out and uh, fill these pans up All right, now we're gonna take our flare. We're gonna put us some here on our countertop. This is a good clean countertop. Just clean them up good, wash your hands good before you get going. That ought to be good enough right there. I'm gonna take my rolling pin here, flare him up a little bit. And I'm gonna get my bowl. There's a little closer view of that dough. Flare your hands up good, both of them. I'm gonna kind of uh, get that dough into a big ball. Here, you can see here it's about the consistency of our dough. I'm just going to leave this in my bowl for now. I'm going to put a little flare in the bottom. But uh, I'm going to get me off a piece that's about, uh, uh, about the size of a baseball, a little bigger. Softball, maybe. Now I'm going to whop him down. And we're going to roll him out. We're going to roll him out real thin. It don't matter if it's a little big. You're going to use it again anyway. Once you get him made, I'm going to fold him over, and I'm going to do it right here just so you can see it good. Let him lay down in there. Now, we're going to set him right back aside. Now that one's ready for apples. I'm gonna go ahead and make some more of these. We'll lay them in. That's probably the easiest pie crust you can ever make. All right, we're gonna get our apples over here and I'm gonna show you how I fill them up now. All right, now we're gonna fill up this pie. And I got my apples here. And uh, I'm gonna ladle them in and spread them out. And now you don't want these super thick. These are thin apple pies. There, there's about all I'm putting in there. We'll go ahead and fill this one up too. Alright, we got one more ready. 
That one there is just a hair bigger of a pan, so we're gonna put just a little more. All right, that's all I put in there, about two good ladles. I'm gonna set my apples to the side. Now we're gonna put the top on them. Nice and thin. All right, now, I start from the back when I lay them on there so I can see when I'm on the edge. I lay them over there, set him down there a little bit. Now here's one of the tricks that's good with these little metal pans. Pinch your edges together, take your hands and just push him over. That'll cut that dough right off that. And now we'll take this dough and then I'll save it and we'll make another top out of it. And if it's dough, uh, once you pinch them off a little bit, if it's a little stiff to work with, put him in your bowl, put a little splash of milk and mix him up, and it's ready to go. Now, after you get that on there, I take a fork, I just punch me a bunch of holes in him. Let her hit all the way to the bottom. That pie's ready for the oven. So I'm gonna set him to the side, fill the rest of them up, and we'll get them baking. We got our pies in the oven. We'll come check on them in about 10, 15 minutes. Don't take them too awful long to bake. Okay, it's been 10 minutes. Let's give them a check. Still looking good, need some more time. So we're gonna put them in there for another 10. Normally about 15, 20 minutes, until, just till they start getting a little golden brown. That's all it takes. All right, we're gonna check them again. And oh yeah, they're looking mighty pretty, mighty pretty. Uh, they're starting to get a little brown. So I'm gonna get a few of them out here. And uh, this one here, I believe it's ready. And uh, we may give them both, uh, maybe two more minutes. But they're about done now. Just gonna brown them up a little bit. Oh yeah, that's a pretty little pie right there. I'm gonna get all these out of the oven and let them cool. Yeah, looks good. That one there, I'm gonna move him up to the top shelf. Looking good, looking good. Yeah, 
All right, I'm going to uh, let them two brown up a little more, and I'll get the other one out, and I'll show you when I got them on the counter. Okay, I've got them all sitting on the counter here, and uh, I think they turned out really nice and pretty. And uh, one good thing about it, if you have one that you don't like the look of, like uh, if I didn't need them for church, um, you could cut one and save it for yourself at home and have you a nice pie to eat on. But we're going to send all of these. To, I'm going to uh, let them cool a little bit. And then I'm going to show you how I stack them up. And uh, we're going to get them ready to take to church. All right, there you have it. Hope you all enjoy these apple pies. These are heading for homecoming at church. Hope this video helps you. And uh, hope you enjoy the recipe. Appreciate you all watching. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hope you have a very blessed day. Thank you.